Blood tests can help in the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Tumor markers such as CA19.9 and CEA levels are blood tests used. The most important tests used to diagnose pancreatic cancer are imaging tests such as ultrasounds, CAT scans, MRI scans, and PET scans. Ultrasound is an imaging test that is commonly used and many people are familiar with it. A CT or CAT scan is a painless procedure. Today's fast speed scanners can complete the imaging in 5 to 10 minutes, thus reducing the time needed for the patient to lie flat and still. Magnetic resonance imaging, also called MRI, is another imaging method that is in common use today. The MRI uses radio waves and powerful magnets instead of x-rays as in a CAT scan to view internal structures and organs. This is a painless procedure. The PET scan, positron emission tomography, is an imaging test that shows the anatomy and how active the tumor is. The CT and PET scans can be performed one right after the other during the same session with the patient not changing position between the two types of scans. The two sets of images are more precisely seen so that areas of abnormality on the PET scan can be matched with the anatomy on the CT or MRI scans. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography is also called ERCP. This is a procedure using a dye to view the bile and pancreatic ducts for any blockages. ERCP is especially helpful with patients who are jaundiced because a stent, which is a plastic or metal mesh tube, can be inserted and left in place to keep the ducts open, often relieving the jaundice and its symptoms. In addition, during the ERCP, doctors can collect small particles of any tumor there may be and have them analyzed under the microscope. This analysis, called a biopsy, is the only way to truly diagnose pancreatic cancer.